What's up everybody, welcome back to the channel and welcome to another Pokemon Sword and Shield VGC 2021 video. Now, today I am using this dumb team. In fact, this is just going to be a brain dead hyper offense video. I made this team in like five minutes last night and I actually got some wins, so I thought it'd be a fun little video to make. Um, it's based around mind blown shell bell blacephalon, but we'll get into that in a second. If you guys enjoyed this video at any point in time, do me a favor, leave a like on it, subscribe to the channel and turn on notifications because I bring you daily Pokemon Sword and Shield content. And that's for my comment question of the day. What Pokemon in VGC do you think would use the Shell Bell effectively? It's actually a really cool item, which I can talk about now. So the Shell Bell is an item that sort of works like leftovers in that you get health at the end of every turn, but actually it's not at the end, it's whenever you attack. Uh, so I guess imagine like your all of your moves have the effect of Giga Drain, but instead of half of the HP that you dealt, it's an eighth of the HP. So it's significantly less. Uh, so it's, it's sort of like the same amount as a leftovers, but the more damage you deal, the more you get. You get a, you get what you put into it, right? Uh, and with Blacephalon having access to Mind Blown, a massively powerful move at 100, that isn't it, at 150 base power uh, that hits every single Pokemon in the field, it's going to be dealing a lot of damage in total, giving you a ton of health back. In fact, last night I clicked Mind Blown against this team that had like a Magnazone, a Whimsicott, and I had my own Whimsicott, and I got all three KOs, got my Beast Boost, and then went back up to 100% health despite taking 50% from the move. But yeah, it's it's a really fun thing. We just have Shadow Ball and Taunt on it as well. I could run Flamethrower, but I just wanna, I wanna click Mind Blown. Uh, we have a Ring Target Whimsicott, which pairs up with the Regieleki. Like I said, this is a dumb team. I'm probably not gonna get a lot of wins, but I'm gonna get some fun ones. Um, so what we can do with this is enable the Blacephalon to deal a lot of damage by clicking Tailwind and Fake Tears. Uh, Moonblast just to catch anything that I can't really hit. Switcheroo, a Ring Target onto something, allowing me to hit it with, I don't know, allowing me to hit uh, like a Landorus with a Max Lightning or a Thunderbolt for a straight up KO. That's always big. We have our Colossal with a Weakness Policy and Steam Engine, Meteor Beam, Protect, Heat Wave, Solar Beam. Uh, and with Blacephalon clicking Mind Blown, what I can actually do is enable the Steam Engine to go off without procking the Weakness Policy. Like, that's the only downside. Um, however, just enabling Colossal by clicking like Max Flare means that my next KO or my next uh, Mind Blown will be dealing a ton of damage to everything. And Colossal just straight up times for resist it, so he doesn't take much. Uh, on top of that, we do still have the Weakness Policy on it. So if we want to go for a slow fun mode, we can actually go Trick Room Bulldoze Colossal since even though you can invest a lot of speed into this, at minus one it's going to be outspeeding a majority of the metagame, meaning it can be a threat uh, with you know Steam Engine activated or uh, Trick Room active. So that's a really big thing. We have the Eviolite Dusclops, just a standard physical defensive set. Uh, and we have a Glacier with White Herb and Swords Dance. Like I said, I just want to get KOs with this team. It's going to be brain dead hyper offense, and it should be a fun little video. So let's get into it. So yeah, uh, I tried recording this earlier, and I kept thinking about my games. So I just left to the room and watched, like, just infomercials for 20 minutes. And I'm like, okay, yeah, I no longer think. So now I can play the team effectively. So what we have here is... A pretty solid game just for the Blacephalon lead. I could go Blacephalon Whimsicott here. Uh, Trick Room wouldn't be awful as well. I think I might actually go with like a soft Trick Room in the back. Blacephalon Whimsicott. Uh, Colossal looking okay, not great. I'm going to bring it. And I think my last Mon... Actually, no, let's just... Let's just bring Dusclops. Dusclops is just a nice little catch-all Pokemon. As they go Whimsicott Excadrill, um, they might be Focus Sash, which is kind of concerning. If they're not Focus Sash, I definitely get a KO this turn, but what's the likelihood? Let me take a look at the rest of their team. I think they're probably just going to be running Focus Sash, so. Uh, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to Mind Blown and get in the Colossal, assuming they're just going to fake out my whim. They Dynamax. I deal a ton of damage. Like, look how much I'm going to get back here. Look at that. <laughs> I almost went back up to full. They max Quake me, but I really don't lose too much now. What I can actually do is get in my Whimsicott here. And I'm going to be outspeeding this Excadrill with a Tailwind. So even if they get in the, uh, even if they get in the Tyranitar, I'll be fine. So I'll Tailwind up here. And I could just go for the max Rock move, but I don't think it's going to KO. I'll just Flare to be safe. So yeah, even though they have Sand Rush, my Tailwind plus my Steam Engine will allow me to outspeed. So that's a clean little KO there. 
And now they're not exactly in the best spot. They're just going to go ahead and forfeit. Nice. So we were able to use the, uh, I mean, obviously the, they like KO'd my Blacephalon, but it was still like a fun little game for it. All right. So we're on my mid ladder alt, so we're going to see some weird stuff like this occasionally. I'm assuming this is just like Meteor Beam Cradilly. I don't know what the Sneasel is doing here. Like, I get that that Sneasel has like inner focus, but there isn't anything they would want to like activate a weakness policy on unless it's weakness policy Dragapult, which we can actually beat that with just Whimsicott. <laughs> yeah, no, I think I just always lead off like Whimsicott and or maybe I just go Trick Room mode here. That wouldn't be the end of the world. Hmm. I think I'll go Blacephalon Whimsicott. I will bring the Colossal again, and I think my last Mon... Uh, I could make a case for Glacier, and a pretty strong one at that, so I'm going to go for it. No Trick Room on my side of the field, but they have, if they end up going with that, I have an answer. So they go Clefable and Entei. I don't know how I feel about this. They're probably just going to like Stomping Tantrum. Um, what I could try to do here is... I mean, they're gonna go for the. They're gonna go for the follow me into like a stomping tantrum. I'll just mind blown and get in coal. Because I'm gonna outspeed both of these, I think. Yeah, this guy's base 100, right? So I'm gonna outspeed. I'm gonna get good damage on that thing. Go back up to 72. Nice. They go for the quake. Uh, but I think it's kind of late for them now. I think it's pretty late for them. I'll go ahead and get in the Whimsicott here. Uh, and I can attempt to fake tears the Entei and go for a max Vocalith. They're probably just gonna go ahead and follow me it away, but it's whatever. Yeah, cause I'll just take the Clefable then. And at this point, they really don't have much for the Slowbro. I'd like to be able to, you know, deal with the Slowbro with a, um, with a max overgrowth, but uh, I don't think I don't think it's going to be dealing as much as I needed to. So get a critical hit there. Definitely didn't matter from that range. They go for the quake. I'm going to go ahead and live that. Get my boost there. There we go. Yeah, as soon as I saw that they weren't like life orb, I was fine. There's the Dragapult. I mean, I outspeed it pretty easily. I can fake tears and just KO this Entei. I have a feeling it might be like Assault Vest, just judging by how they're playing it. Because Dragapult's no issue for these two. They max guard. End up losing my boy. Uh, not the end of the world, though. I still have Vocalith up. What I can do here is... What's their item? They definitely aren't Assault Vest. I might lose. I might lose. It's going to be kind of close. I mean, my Glacier obviously doesn't outspeed. I got a White Herb on this guy. Um, I think I definitely have to hit the Entei with a Max... Not a Max Quake, but a, a Stomping Tantrum. So, I mean, I could just, like, take whatever item that Dragapult has. They are running Surf, which is interesting. I don't know why you'd run Surf on Dragapult with this team. I guess for the Cradilly. I'll switch your and see if I can get, like, a, a good item. I don't know. Nah, I'll just I'll just Moonblast. That's safer. And I'll have Horsepower. And let's see if I can somehow live. They will wisp me with the Dragapult. So, full support set. Uh, but I am going to take the Pult here. And Sacred Fire is going to KO me. I think I just lose now. Actually, no. We still have one more turn of Vocalith. So, if it's, like... If it's like Sneasel, I win. And maybe even to an extent, Cradilly, I could win. Oh, it's Sneasel. All right, I protect here, and they're going to take damage, and then I just win. Because they don't out-damage the Glacier. I kind of wish I had close combat, but I don't. <laughs> All right, cool. Uh, so I just click High Horsepower a few times. They have Triple Axle. It's not going to be doing much. But with the, the burn damage, it will be a significant amount. Oh, I get a crit. I don't think it mattered. It would have been a two-hit KO anyway, so GG. Nice. All right, we managed to sneak a win in there. I don't know why Surf Dragapult was their, like, <laughs> was their choice there. If they didn't bring the Cradilly, what was the Dragapult doing? All right. Once again, this is a supreme game for Blacephalon because they got nothing for it. Um, I definitely like the Regieleki here, too. I definitely like the Regieleki. I can lead off like this. In the back, I... I'm just going to bring a Lucky, yeah. Yeah, I mean, I have the option of doing the ring target stuff. So, 
like I could, you know, trick a ring target onto the landers. In one of the practice games I did, I actually managed to get that on a read, like on reading the landers coming in before they even revealed it. So that was really cool. They have Grimmsnarl. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and assume they're just going to set up a light screen and max airstream. What I could do here, ooh, I'm going to go ahead and just ring target right away. I'm going to ring target right away and taunt the Grimmsnarl. And the reason, oh, okay. So now they can't do that. I'm going to switch a Roo again. Uh, they're probably not going to Dynamax, actually. So maybe I don't. I could fake tears and go for the Mind Blown now. That might actually be my play. Just because I don't think they stay in expecting me to be, um, you know, they should expect me to be that item that makes me strong. What is it called? The, uh, that was such a vague statement. They should expect me to be a Jack button, but I'm not since I didn't reveal it yet. They aren't Frisk, right? Yeah, they're not. So I'm going to I'm going to mind blown here and go for the fake tears as they switch out. They're not going to take this very well. They're not going to take this very well. And I'm going to get a good amount of damage off. Uh, I will get plus one and hopefully I can take a spirit break. All right, nice. I do take it. And now I outspeed everything. So what I can do is get in my colossal and mind blown again. Or maybe I just shadow ball now. No, I mind blown. I mind blown. Unfortunately, we're going to have a little bit of an issue with that uh, with that Landorus, I think. I could actually save my mind blown now that I think about it. Because I can just get rid of the Rotom here. I can like protect Max Vocalith. That's whatever. Because now I can go for the mind blown. It'll be doing uh, a decent amount. There's the Tapu Finny. Okay, I might just lose. I might just lose to Lando now that I look at it. Uh, how do I play out of this? How do I play out of this? Whatever. I'll just activate it. <laughs> uh, I should be able to get my Steam Engine by doing this. I can just Max Flare the Grim Snarl. Or not my Steam Engine, my uh, Weakness Policy. Because I'm going to lose my Blacephalon. And now I think I take the hit just barely. Oh yeah, we're gaming. We are officially gaming. Uh, unfortunately, I can't double into the Lando. <laughs> I cannot double into the Lando with my Mon, so I suppose I probably just lose. I can try to go for a Vocalith crit. That's like my only out here. As they protect. Ooh, wait, hold on. Not the end of the world yet. Probably the end of the world. Thunderbolt. And they're just going to Earthquake, aren't they? <laughs> I think my play here is wait for Light Screen to run out and get like the world's strongest Heat Wave crit. So I Thunderbolt the Finny and try to crit that. Protect here. Because they're just going to EQ. As they live. Yeah, good game. On Fortnite. Our brain was not off enough. We have to turn it off just a little bit more. We gotta turn it off just a little bit more. All right, so we see Metagross and yeah, no, I actually really like this. I'm gonna go ahead, since I outspeed like everything, I can just go Colossal and Blacephalon on lead. Uh, Whimsicott in the back isn't a terrible idea, but it's also not necessary because I already outspeed everything. I think what I'm gonna do is go a Leki and my last Mon, hmm. Do I need a fake tears anything really? Maybe I actually just Yeah, maybe I actually just lead off Blacephalon Whimsicott again, Colossal. And my last mon, I, I feel pretty comfortable with Aleki. Yeah. The standard standard core. I at some point want to click Swords Dance with this Glacier. I'm upset I haven't yet. Like even in like testing, I haven't clicked that. All right, there's Snarl, Metagross. Okay, cool. So what I can do here is... Yeah, my play is always just to mind blown and get in the coal here because they're just going to go ahead and set up... Um, They're going to set up their thing, their light screen. And I'm going to get good damage, right? I may even... I mean, they have to... 
they have to light screen, but I'm still going to get good damage on the Metagross. As they send in the Tapu Fini. Good damage on the Grim Snarl. Light screen, I assume. Spirit Break. I take that. Um, I should be able to flare the Grim Snarl here and just get my get my ability off or get my um, weakness policy off with the Finny. So what I'm gonna do is just that. I'm gonna max flare the Grim Snarl, and they should be giving me my policy here. Faked. Okay, I'm not getting my policy. All right. Uh, actually, we're fine, I think. Because I still have my own fake tears I can go for. Yeah. I believe I just fake tears. And I am... I am Focus Sash, so... I think they might protect here. I kind of want to go ahead and Electroweb, assuming they would protect and try to go for, like, a Spirit Break on the Aleki. They don't, but... It's fine, because I'm Focus Sash. I get a crit on the Grim Snarl. Starfall, that's fine. So they're probably in range of the Thunderbolt now. There's the Metagross. Hmm. Alright, check this out. I don't need the... What item is that? They're probably a berry. And the Metagross is probably a Salt Vest. I think my play here... Uh, they're likely just going to go ahead and protect the Finny and go for the KO with the Metagross. <laughs> Am I about to get an Assault Vest here? Is that really what I'm going to do? On my Finny, or on my on my Whimsicott? Let me see. So the Electrob did 30%. Thunderbolt would definitely KO. I'm going to go ahead and switch your here, take that away from them. And I really want to protect, but I don't think it's worth it in case they, you know, don't. Ah, they do. Oh, I got a weakness policy. Cool. All right. Uh, let's see how this goes. They're going to muddy water with the Finny like every time here. Do you think Shadow Ball into Thunderbolt does it? I don't think it does. I think I just lose again. I can try this. Maybe I can just click uh, Mind Blown and somehow win in the end game if I get a KO on this Finny. But I think it's just barely going to live. Yeah, it's just barely going to live. Oh no, they just have Earthquake. Interesting. Alright, GG. Dang, I really want to mess with someone. Alright, let's get another one there. I got interrupted, so... <laughs> kind of had to cut the whole battle. Someone walked in and they're like, hey, what are you doing? I'm like, I'm recording a video. Thank you for knocking. All right. Uh, let me see here. So, Blacephalon lead looks kind of bad here, to be honest. I mean, I outspeed everything except for Kartana. What I could do is finally go Trick Room mode. It's an option. I could also go Whimsicott Regieleki here. And just try to position myself in a, in a good way. I think I'm going to go Whimsicott Regieleki. Cole in the back. And Blacephalon. Alright. Yeah, that should be fine. So, they're just going to go ahead and fake out the, the Whimsicott here, I would assume. So, what I can do is get in the Colossal and Electroweb. Just to, like, lower the speed stats of everything. The airstream, yep. I wanted to avoid that thing being able to outspeed me. And now, uh, I think my play here is going to be... I think I just give them the... No, alright. Because they're going to go ahead and they're just going to parting shot my Colossal, I would assume, after an airstream. So I'm going to go ahead and just keep electrowebbing, and I'm going to get in my Whimsicott now. I missed the Cartana, which is kind of huge. But I could just Tailwind the next turn. There it is. 
There's their Wimscott. Uh, this isn't looking good. All right. At least they didn't, you know, tailwind. Or not tailwind. At least they didn't um, go for the airstream. So I can try to tailwind here, and if I get it off, it's going to be really big. However, uh, their Wimscott can also be an issue. So I need to Electroweb. I need to connect on the Kartana, and we should be fine now, I think. I think we might just win. Yeah. Yeah, if I get in Blacephalon, I kind of just win. I'm going to go ahead and... Get in my coal here, assuming that they would just go ahead and like moonblast it or something. I'm gonna electro to give them the uh Yeah, I'm gonna electro to give them the Regieleki. And now I am in the driver's seat. It is time to click mind blown. <laughs> it is time to click mind blown. Let me go ahead and also get a Vocalith off in case somehow this thing lives. Yeah, because even if the Incineroar comes in. I'm going to KO the Wimsy Guy here, and then my Mind Blown will go into the Incineroar. Or not my Mind Blown, but my Vocalith. Yeah, that's not the end of the world. <laughs> they get their Berry, but I still outspeed them next turn. Alright, uh, I'm just going to go ahead and Mind Blown again. There's literally no reason not to. And I can take the, the Incineroar. Or I guess I could Shadow Ball for the KO, and that's safer. I'll do that. There's the Kartana. Should be getting back a good amount of health here. And I think Kartana's just gone. Nah, eh, not quite. After the rocks, it's going to be close there. Um, they do still have a turn of Tailwind that they could use with Whimsicott, but I don't think it's enough to win because Kartana goes down to rocks. So I kind of just attack here, right? Yeah, I just flare Mind Blown for fun. <laughs> Actually, no. Kartana always goes down, so I would always just flare Kartana. Which, no, Kartana outspeeds me, so I just double Whimsicott. There's no reason to protect here ever. Yeah. That's gone, that's gone. And now it is Colossal versus Hydreigon. Uh, I should be able just to Heat Wave and protect here. Yeah, the Earth Power, that's fine. I get in my Whimsicott. And my play here is to... I'm at plus one. I could... I could try to Nene. Because I think their play would be to Flamethrower my Whimsicott. And two Mind Blowns will do it. Or at the very least, a Mind Blown into a Shadow Ball. So I could Tailwind here and Mind Blown. Because the sun's out. Yeah, good game. I guess it didn't matter what I clicked, but I still got it off, so that's fun. Alright. I want to get a couple good ones. I want to get a couple more good ones, and then, uh, then, I'll, then I'll end off this video. Ooh, okay. So, Rain. So, how do we deal with Rain? We probably don't, is the issue. I didn't account for this, because it's a bad team. I kind of want to say our answer to Rain <laughs> is just Whimsicott Alecky. Since, I mean, Timid Kingdra still outspeeds is the issue, but I think I'd lead off that way. I could also go Dusclops Glacier and that wouldn't be awful, but then I lose to the Scavalier. Let's try this. We probably just lose. I'm willing to accept the loss here if it doesn't work. But it'd be pretty funny if it did. Uh, I'll go Blacephalon. I'll go Blacephalon, just because it's funny. Like I said, you know, this is more of a fun video. There's the Rillaboom Kingdra. I think it's pretty clear that their play here is going to be to fake out my, my Whimsicott. And I should outspeed the Kingdra. What I'm going to do here is Mind Blown and get in the Colossal again. And hope that they're modest. Get a plus one there. Let's see if they airstream. That'd be kind of huge. Get a good amount of health back. And they airstream. Okay. So here they get in the toad. I think it's pretty clear that they need to take on this colossal. So what I'm going to do here is... I need to get in my Whimsicott if I want to beat this. I'm going to go ahead and go for Shadow Ball for damage. I'm going to max guard. Good. 
Good damage, good damage. They scald me, that's fine. I'm gonna get in my Whimsicott now. And I should be able to Tailwind to outspeed this thing. And then I beat down the Politoed with the Regieleki, and I think everything else just beats to that. Or just uh, loses to that. So I Tailwind Vocalith. Outspeed. Uh, not quite KO, but I should keep my Whimsicott here. Scald, no burn. Not that it really matters, but I would enjoy not losing my uh, my Grassy Terrain recovery. Getting the Reggie Lucky. Gonna be kind of close. Um, I definitely want to Moonblast the Incineroar. And I think my play here is gonna be Protect. Just in case they double a Lucky. Yeah. Moonblast for damage, they're going to take some rocks. They double deed lucky, nice. Alright, and I should be able to win just by targeting Politoed here, since rocks plus a Thunderbolt may do it. Maybe I double into the Incineroar. I think I need to take out Politoed though, I think it's much easier to KO that way. Um, I don't really need this ring target on Moonblast though. They protect... Hopefully no burn. I might lose if they target the Whimsicott. But also, I, I might live. I don't know. A parting shot. Okay, good play, good play. I think I still win just by this. Because there's still a turn of Vocalith. I can't switch a real way their item. I mean, this probably still KOs, but I know that Politoads are built pretty defensively, so just playing it safe. The parting shot. Yeah, good game. Nice. Let's do one last battle. One more battle for the video. Ooh, okay, now this, this is a game for Blacephalon Whimsicott lead. This is the game for that. Let me go ahead and bring the Colossal again. This one is just gonna be a classic, classic little, uh, <laughs> little Blacephalon game. There's the Grim Snarl, there's the Urshifu Water, okay. Now, I think it's pretty clear what our priorities are. It's the Urshifu Water, which in Aqua Jet, I don't think will KO me. If you haven't noticed, I do have some bulk on this. Not a lot, but I don't think Aqua Jet just KOs, so I could try this. Um, I'm going to double into you with a Moonblast and a Shadow Ball, and that'll make this a bit easier, as they are carrying Fake Out. I'm not a fan of Fake Out. Unfortunately, we lost our boy. Um, but I think the Aleki just comes in now, and... <sighs> no, that could be an issue. The Marowak Alola. Alright, here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna get in the Aleki, and I'm gonna double out into my Colossal. Just in case they bring in the Marowak, I think that's safer. That was probably just not even necessary, but... I think they definitely brought the Marowak. I'm gonna Moonblast. It, this is just safer than, like, letting them have Colossal, you know? Yeah, there's the Marowak. And now I can go for my Max Rock move into the Marowak and Tailwind. Yeah. Yeah, I think that's my play. I mean, I could also fake Tears just to make sure I get the KO, but I don't think Marowak takes it without Dynamaxing. I could also take away its Thick Club. That'd be, that'd be kind of funny. I'll just Tailwind. There's a Celesteela. Ooh, Lagging Tail, okay. Okay, well, I'm actually just gonna switch Uru and take that away from myself. I'd rather have Lagging Tail Whimsicott. And <laughs> ring target. What do I lose an immunity to? Like, nothing. Actually, what I could do here is predict them to protect the Celesteela. What item does the Celesteela have? I bet you it has Power Herb. I bet you it has Power Herb. Alright. Uh, let me go ahead and just max Flare. Celesteel. I'm going to play it safe that way. Or... Mm, no, I'm not really scared of it. I'm going to go ahead and max Flare the Grim Snarl. And I can try to switch your room myself. Or even just the Celesteel. Because they might go for the Meteor Beam. That could be huge. 
Assault vest, that's fine. I probably just lose. <laughs> Reginald Alecki. Um, I mean, I vocalith the Grim Snarl. And Thunderbolt, even though it's, you know. Probably. Oh no, they just give me it. Okay. I do have Sun Up, which is kind of big. That's kind of big for the Urshifu. Aqua Jet won't KO me, but. I don't think they're going to let me Meteor Beam. Electro for the KO. Critical hit probably didn't matter. Yeah, good game. <laughs> good game. So yeah, uh, you know, more or less just a fun little video there. Wasn't really trying to ladder much of this team, thus the alt account, but yeah, I mean, I'm still going to put the team up for fun. I think it's a fun team just to run Blacephalon on. Uh, so that's going to be in my Discord if you want to try it out. But if you guys enjoyed this, leave a like, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.